Today, we're talking about the juggernaut, the enigma, the goliath of AI software, Palantir. If you're here, you probably know Palantir is a hot stock, a hotter topic, and maybe even the hottest thing since sliced bread, which, by the way, could probably use AI to get more even slices. So buckle up as we dive into how Palantir is changing the world, what analysts are saying about its future, and why Alex Karp believes this is the most important software on the planet. Let's go. If AI were a gold rush, Palantir would be the guy selling shovels, maps, and maybe even the rights to the gold mine itself. Their AI platform, AIP, isn't just another shiny tech gadget, it's the tool companies and governments need to survive in a world where data is king. Here's an example. Imagine a Fortune 500 company drowning in spreadsheets and Slack messages while trying to figure out how to optimize their supply chain. Palantir's AIP swoops in like a superhero, connecting all their data sources, finding inefficiencies, and offering solutions, all while sipping a cocktail. The best part? It's not just private businesses getting hooked. Uncle Sam's on board too. The U.S. government is using Palantir's tech for probably everything from military ops to public health planning. With these use cases expanding, the demand for AIP is growing faster than the line at a Black Friday sale. Let's talk numbers because, hey, the market doesn't care about how cool your tech is if it doesn't make money. For 2025, analysts expect Palantir to post over 20% revenue growth and rake in a mind-blowing $1.053 billion in free cash flow. That's not startup money, that's I just bought my third yacht money. To put that into perspective, that's more free cash flow than some entire industries generate in a year. Imagine taking a billion dollars and stacking it in $1 bills, it'd reach the stratosphere. But here's the kicker, analysts also predict Palantir's EPS, earnings per share, to hit 47 cents. This growth isn't a flash in the pan, it's the kind of steady climb that makes investors feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Now let's talk about the man, the myth, the hair, Alex Karp. Palantir's CEO has gone on record saying he's not just aiming for greatness, he's aiming to make Palantir the most important software in the world. That's not a small goal, and honestly, it might sound a little crazy. But let's break it down. Palantir is helping NATO allies and the US military modernize operations in ways that make sci-fi movies jealous. Think autonomous drones, real-time battlefield analytics, and even predicting threats before they happen. By the way, if you are benefiting from the content so far and want more like this, like, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell, and comment the word more. Just go ahead and type the word more so I know. Now that you've commented, let's continue. From automating underwriting for insurance to optimizing manufacturing lines, Palantir's tech is like a Swiss army knife for businesses. With AIP at the forefront, Palantir is making AI accessible and useful for everyone, from governments to grocery chains. If that doesn't scream, world's most important software, I don't know what does. Here's where things get spicy. While Palantir is currently trading above $58, analysts are pegging that as its price target for 2025. That's about 13% lower than today's price. Is Wall Street 24-7 throwing shade at Palantir, or is this a reality check? To answer that, let's consider their reasoning. Analysts expect Palantir to trade at a similar multiple next year, which isn't bad, it just means the current hype might be slightly ahead of its fundamentals. But remember, fundamentals aren't the only thing driving stock prices. There's also, momentum, Palantir has it in spades. Just look at the AI buzz. CEO Alex Karp and the company's bold moves keep Palantir in the headlines. Who knows what game-changing partnership or tech breakthrough they'll announce next. Free cash flow, FCF, is the holy grail of financial metrics. It's like your take-home pay after taxes and bills, except for companies, it shows how much money they have left over to reinvest, pay down debt, or return to shareholders. Hitting $1 billion in FCF is like Palantir earning its black belt in finance. 
it gives the company options. Stock buybacks, shrinking the number of shares available to drive up the stock price. R&D investments, doubling down on innovation to stay ahead of competitors like Snowflake or MongoDB. Dividends, Palantir hasn't started paying these yet, but with this kind of cash flow, it could happen sooner than we think. Imagine this, you're at a tech bake-off. Snowflake shows up with a beautifully decorated cake but no filling. MongoDB brings a pie that's solid, but you can only eat one slice at a time. Then Palantir walks in with a five-course meal cooked by Gordon Ramsay, paired with juice, dessert, and a roadmap for future meals. That's how Palantir stands out. It doesn't just offer data storage or processing, it delivers actionable insights that change how businesses operate. Can we take a moment to appreciate the name Palantir? It's literally a reference to the magical seeing stones in the Lord of the Rings. So, if you think about it, using Palantir is like having your own Gandalf on speed dial. And honestly, who wouldn't want that? Investing in Palantir isn't just about betting on a stock, it's about buying into a vision. Here's why I think it has long-term potential. Once a company starts using Palantir, Switching is like trying to leave your gym contract, nearly impossible. With clients in many countries, Palantir isn't just a U.S. success story. As more industries adopt AI, Palantir's tech will only become more valuable. Palantir is polarizing. Some see it as overhyped, while others believe it's undervalued given its potential. What's clear is that it's a company with big ambitions, innovative tech, and a knack for staying ahead of the curve. If you're an investor, the key is balancing the short-term hype with the long-term opportunity. Could the stock dip? Sure. Could it skyrocket? Absolutely. But one thing's for sure, Palantir possibly isn't going anywhere, and Alex Karp is just getting started. Remember that God the creator of heaven and earth will bless you abundantly, make you the head and not the tail if you love him and obey his word. Acknowledge him in your plans and he will direct your paths. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 If you have watched the whole video until the end, drop a comment like this, I stayed until the end. Just comment that I stayed until the end. When I see this comment, I will give you a heart. There are three more important steps to build wealth. First, like this video, subscribe and then turn on the notifications bell. If you do this, you highly motivate me to continue bringing to you educative and transformative videos every week. Do not miss out on our future videos full of knowledge and wisdom, all I am asking is your subscription. Thanks for joining us today, your support is appreciated so much. Do not hesitate to share this video to help someone, I recommend that you watch the next video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts about today's video. Thank you. See you in the next video by God's grace, we love you, and blessings to you.